Well, it's Thursday, November 29th, nomination day. I'm Gary Moreno, and thank you for joining us tonight. On a night when they furrow over that, UBP, that United Bermuda Party report on the aftermath of the election of 2007 is once again heading the news with the man who prepared the report, Marius Pensner of Pensner Media, denying that he did in fact do so. He says there are obvious signs that the document, which has been circulated on the Internet, is a fabricated document, and whoever authorized this document dated it 22nd October 2007, nearly two months in advance of the election on the 18th of December 2007. However, what we have here is the original document. I don't know, Ian, if you might be able to zoom into it. What we have here is the original document that was sent to Kim Swan, who was the then party leader, uh, Michael Dunkley, senator and former leader, and Dr. Grant Gibbons, JPMP, as it says at the bottom here, as opposed to the one which has been circulated on the internet and does in fact say 2007. Now I have with me on the telephone Mr. Kim Swan. Mr. Swan, are you there, sir? Yes, sir, I am here. Uh, can you say for me, please, whether you did in fact receive a copy of a report in May of 2008 from a Mr. Ma Marius Pensner of Pensner Media titled United Bermuda Party Post-Election 2007 Analysis and Comment uh, prepared for Glenn Smith, 2007 Campaign Chairman, Honorable Kim Swan, JPMP Leader, Honorable Michael Dunkley, Senator, Former Leader, and Honorable Dr. Grant Gibbons, JPMP? Uh, I did, in fact, receive a, um, a report, as I mentioned on your show earlier when you asked me pointedly uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I believe I received it soon after I became leader in early 2008, I believe, maybe February. Did that report, in fact, suggest that the United Bermuda Party, and let me quote it verbatim here, as part of its rebranding, that one scenario might involve breaking the party into two independent groups, a United Bermuda Party, which would consist of the remaining UBP stalwarts like Grant, Louise, Trevor, John Barrett, for example, and a second party consisting of all the new and younger candidates called something like the New Democracy Party? That's consistent with what I recall um, the... Uh, report uh, consistent of, in and addition to a very comprehensive outline of um, the election and other things. And did it also say that my, there was some overexposure of Mr. Michael Dunkley? It says, and I'm going to quote verbatim again, this was a tough call and probably debatable, but in hindsight, even though he was party leader, having Michael be such a visible person in every press event may have worked to our disadvantage. We may have been better served lowering his profile a bit and letting a handful of black surrogates play a more visible role. That's uh, consistent with um, uh, the information that uh, the, the report was very, very uh, candid, very pointed, um, and gave a... Uh, uh, a very uh, clairvoyant uh, outline of um, how matters transpired uh, during that uh, election period. I wasn't a leader at that particular time, but um, that's, that's accurate. Thank you very much, Mr. Swan, for clearing matters up for us tonight. Thank you, sir. And again, here's another look at the original document, not the one that was put on the Internet, and it's addressed. Ian, can you zoom into that? You may not be able to see the names too clearly, or you may know it's addressed to Kim Swan, Michael Dunkley, Grant Gibbons, and of course, Glenn Smith, who was the 2007 campaign chairman. Now, ZBM News is being threatened with legal action over our report from last evening, but hopefully this does in fact now clear the situation up.